And what are they doing to that poor man? Oh, look, they're nicking the bike. Hello. Yes, that's right. The future's bright. The future's British nationalism. That's if we get our act together, that is. And our enemies are making sure we don't get our act together, aren't they? But our enemies, Nick Lowe's Hope Not Hate, Jerry Gable's Sacred Magazine, and the big boys, they're my five. They're already defeated, and I'll tell you why. The recent wins for the Brexit Party, the uh, Euro elections, shows that that once something sensible is presented to the British people, they will embrace it. And all the stories, horror stories, about Jack Renshaw, national action, and all the rest of the nonsense that you, you're probably behind anyway, Nick Lowe's hoping I hate, uh, didn't deter people from voting for the Brexit party, did it? No. They went out in droves and elected all those candidates to the European Parliament. Right? So all your Jack Renshaw stories, all your national action and other bizarre nonsense you post on, on that blog of yours didn't deter the people. You've just watched a short clip at the front of this video. No, it wasn't Soweto or Johannesburg. When I first watched that, I had to look. Thing. I thought it was Johannesburg or somewhere. It's in London. It's in London. Uh, bushwhacking some pizza delivery man, right? Now, that's the future, right? And we know it is. Us British nationalists, ideologues, activists and astute observers, they know that that's our future. That's the future our grandchildren are going to inherit. And we've got to make sure that that doesn't happen. We've got to stop this and reverse it, right? So, whether or not British nationalism at the moment is down on one knee not out for the count but it's down on one knee and keeping the flag flying right i know people are despondent i know they're demoralized but trust me trust me this is our, our time is now like i've said many times before there's a book there by thomas w chittam uh civil war two the coming breakup of america and it's very very interesting i don't believe the breakup will be in the sense of a all-out insurrection against the whites i think it'll just be areas that will be uh, designated uh, Hispanic, black or white or whatever and it'll just be a war of attrition it'll just be like I've said before it'll be they move in we move out they move in we move out till eventually you're driven out and along the way there'll be mass murder riots and bombs and bloodshed I'm sure that that's going to happen and I believe the same is now happening here in our beloved Great Britain and the short video clip, as well as uh, other stuff that's happening around the country, is evident that, that this is now happening. It's now beginning. Our civilization, our society, our lovely once great Britain now has been torn apart. And the people will be looking for someone to sort this out. And the only people they can go to is us British nationalists. It's going to be interesting what happens... Uh, on Halloween now, 31st of October, is it? Whether or not we're actually pulled out of the European Union with no deal, severed all ties or not, I don't believe that's going to happen. No, right? And even if we do, even if we do, there's still monumental problems this country's facing that are going to have to be sorted. Nigel Farage, good on him. He can take us out the European Union and British nationalism, especially English nationalism will be rising, it'll be through the roof, trust me it will. And this is where British nationalism comes in to play, right? But we've just got to get our act together, right? Well, let's wait and see what happens uh, regarding Brexit because we're in a win-win either way. If they take us out, no deal, brilliant, right? We're on the march. If they keep us in, there's going to be resentment and rebellion, right? And we've got to uh, harvest that rebellion. We've got to go and 
organise it into a British nationalist party because there'll be a vacuum there that needs filling and that's what we're going to do. It's not all over Nick Griffin, it's only just beginning. That's a con and a cop out by you because you can't be bothered, there's no more pennies and pounds in British nationalism. You just want to sit there now uh, drinking copious amounts of real ale you brew and eating umpteen amounts of steak and ale pies and getting bigger and bigger and out and be a nationalist prophet on, on social media. That's your role in it all now. I mean, what you've reduced yourself to is pathetic, isn't it, really? My solicitor called you an oaf the other day. I was told, what's happened to that oaf, Nick Griffin? An oaf, he called you. And at one time, you had everyone eating out of your hand, but now you are an oaf, literally. But anyway, that's another video in itself. So, British nationalism, right? The future's ours, right? It is no matter what. And I believe the coming breakup of Britain, let alone America, I believe nothing, no, no Jack Renshaw stories or national action stories or some uh, neo-Nazi clown threatening Prince Harry is going to stop the people flocking to British nationalism in millions, right? By the millions, once this country really starts coming apart, which it is, it can't be stopped now this, like Nick Griffin once said when he said sensible things. Uh, they've got the tiger by the tail. Well, the tiger's free now and running round. There's no uh, buying this off. There's no bartering with it. There's no bargaining with it. The chaos is coming. The violence is coming. And someone's got to be there for our people. And that's us British nationalists. So let's wait to see what happens with Brexit, Nigel Farage. As I say, either way, it's a win-win-win for British nationalism. If we leave, Christ, we're on the march and nothing will stop us. No Jack Renshaw stories or National Action stories by open or Hayes or whatever, right? And if we're kept in the European Union, then there'll be a rebellion, there'll be anger. We've got to go and hoover that up. So there's a vacuum there, and that vacuum's for British nationalism. We've just got to get our act together. Don't be despondent, don't be demoralised. Let's just wait, because trust me, trust me, Future events will drive people over to the only people that can solve this, and that's us, right? Trust me, it is. Our enemies know this more than we do. They're terrified. Trust me, they are. But the future's bright. The future's British nationalism. But we've just got to get our act together. And the sooner, the better. Okay, thank you.